How's it going guys? So a lot of you guys actually liked our last lobster catching cook and said you guys want to see more cooking videos in general. So actually we're at a friend's house now and uh, you know a real good recipe, right? Yep, straight from Louisiana. I'm not from Louisiana. I was actually born and raised here in Vegas, but I did spend some time out there in Louisiana and they did teach me how to properly do it. Awesome, so there's gonna be crawfish, shrimp, and I'm sure a lot of other goodies in it too, so. Actually, it's just mainly crawfish and, uh, crawfish and shrimp, and, but we do have our potatoes and corn. So these are live crawfish, were they caught in Louisiana, or? Yes, they were just shipped overnight. They're sitting right in there right now, if you wanna look at yeah, them. Pre-washed, they're just sitting here, they're, they're in their basket. Oh, yeah. Got one of them pinched me earlier, right through the bag. <laughs> but uh, I also got some shrimp here we're gonna add to it, and uh, it's gonna be delicious. So we just set the, the water to boil, just put it, the heat on and we're going to go ahead and you're going to start throwing that stuff in there? Yeah, right yeah, now? immediately right when we got our uh, our goodness here, this is just the Louisiana, you know, the mm -hmm. main the main uh, seasoning. I'm going to throw that in, you put one of these per five pounds of shrimp or crawfish or whatever. I'm only going to use four even though there's going to be 20 pounds of crawfish and five pounds of shrimp, I'm still only going to use four. It's powerful stuff. And, and then lemon uh, juice. Juice all the lemons. <sighs> Throw it right yeah. in. Leave the peels in? Yep. Six of them had. And then finally we got six garlic cloves halved. Just cut in half, you can leave all this stuff on it. Good to go. So I'm just gonna boil that in. We're good. We're gonna bring that to a boil. These are huge. Yeah, they're nice ones. Straight yeah. out of Louisiana, huh? Yeah, we just brought them outside. These are Louisiana crawfish shipped over here straight directly to Joe's house. So, you're wondering about the ice. These were not iced. This is just a layer of ice just to melt and, and to uh, wet their gills and stuff while uh, you know while they're waiting to be cooked so that they stay alive and there's also a cooler you can see you see what i mean there's even cooling underneath it too you want to keep them like 40 degrees they kind of go into a hibernation and mm. now that water and that's just pure mud from where they come from we're going to wash them and separate the dead ones a lot of crawls see right here it's a dead guy you don't eat the dead ones? No, they'll make you sick, just like lobster. This is in the lobster family. You have pretty much four hours to eat uh, lobster or anything after they die, or else uh, you can get sick. So you'll see them become more lively as the water warms them up because they've kind of been in a hibernation. All right, because these things were shipped from Louisiana, they're gonna pick all the live ones out, put them in the cooler. So we're just grabbing the live ones. They killed each other. <laughs> It's crazy, a lot of them are black, or like a red and black, or blackish, and there's some that are white like this. There's a whitish one, and that bottom one right there is real dark. in right now it's gonna stop the boil but we're gonna bring it back to a roller boil. Do you prefer the three iron for that Joey? Yeah. Three prefer iron. three iron? Alright guys so we introduced Joe earlier. This is the owner of the house, John. How's it going? We appreciate it. And eat some delicious food. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> 
going to take another five minutes for it to bring to a roll and boil, and then we'll start that timer thing I was talking about. Okay. What are we throwing in there now? Corn. Corn. Just going to throw the corn in there once it starts uh, rolling boil, and then I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to let it boil for three minutes. I'm going to add the shrimp. I'm going to let it boil for two more minutes, and then I'm going to shut it off, and we're going to do a soak. 17 minutes soak. And that gets all the juices in and everything. Can't wait. It smells good already. It smells amazing. And I'll show you the secret on, the, on, the, on these, how you cut them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to show you. So mostly you just slice the mushrooms, right? On the smaller ones, you leave them intact, and you, you cut them so they're a sponge. That'll suck up everything. Mm -hmm. Absorb flavor. Yeah. Awesome. Just cut off the stem and leave the cap part? Yeah, cap, cut part of the cap with the stem when it has that spoon. Uh, I'm just going to give it a quick three iron. The only reason I'm using a three iron is because I lost my paddle, so leave me alone. You did end up at the beach, so you didn't need your sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mushrooms? This is fresh corn, this isn't frozen. Most people use frozen. But it's quite really good. Do you want to keep an open face on that three iron? <laughs> it's looking good. Topped off to the rim. <laughs> He's still alive. <laughs> well, I'm gonna eat him in a second. <laughs> Just let him cool down. Yep, so he's a cook a little bit. Like a kid in the candy store. <laughs> Taste test. And last but not least, the shrimp. All right. Oop. Come on, baby. Yeah, there's more room in these pots of people. It's gonna go over. So the shrimp, it, you can tell right now the shrimp are already almost cooked. Yeah, they turn fast. They don't, yeah. take, they don't take long. That's why it's only two minutes with the shrimp, and then you shut it off, and then it's almost like you're poaching it. It's just, that's it. What do you think? Looks amazing. Smells amazing. Can't wait. It's almost all done now. Yeah. But, Instagram story. <laughs> all right, I just shut the heat off. We are doing a 17 minute soak with everything. It's gonna take in all the juices. And uh, then we're not done. We still have to do a five minute um, steam. And it's a cool steam. I'll show it to you when we get there. All right, so we're inside. It started pouring outside. So check this guy out right here. What's your name? How about this guy? All right, now that I know the shrimp and everything's all the way cooked through, I just want to stop the cooking process. Ooh, wait, that smells good. It smells amazing. So, it's still going to stay really hot, but this is just going to cool it down so nothing else cooks. That ice is already melted. We don't want that shrimp to keep cooking too long. Right, yeah, you don't want... Look, we should have a pretty good peel right now. I'll pull it out. That's so good. It's perfect. That's so good. <coughs> wow, spicy too. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where the magic's gonna happen, right? Shrimp, right? <laughs> I shouldn't. We shouldn't play them. <laughs> <laughs> what are they? They're but, the little floaty things for the pool. You, you didn't. Have, they didn't have any. Uh -huh, they were sold out, but they were. They, 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 <laughs> it doesn't get any better than this. They, they, they don't do anything like seventy-five cents. Dude, it's gonna melt. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, it's, be it's been 17 minutes on the dock. Still dripping down there. It's strong, boys. Maybe that'll hurt. Oh! It smells delicious. Mm -hmm. Oh, you've got a muscle. Alright, what do you think? You ready? Mm -hmm. Alright. Nice meeting. There you go. Get in the whole room. Good. 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 Cool. 
Let it rip. Keep going. All right. I think that's about it. Oh, coming in hot. <laughs> that one's still moving. No. You can see it steaming. He, it's he gets steaming. to live. You're still moving. You can see it getting removed. All right. I'm going to let him steam for five minutes. Let me set this back on. Then we'll be ready. Then it's fine. All right. You ready? I'm ready. Five minutes and it's time to eat. Do you want to put the golf club on it? Just for a minute. Dude, you got to tee one off for the show. That's what we'll do with the dead ones. Just tee them over there. <laughs> no, we're all the animal rights activists be all over here. <laughs> cruelty to cruelty. <laughs> that that five minute steam is what makes those shows just perfect, man. Do you feel? So, yeah. Oh yeah. All that steam. The whole house is going to be out. Are we going to go ahead and do a taste test here? No pressure. Take yeah. two. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure, bro. <laughs> All right, got a nice little chunk of meat right there. I'm going to go ahead and give it a good old taste test. That's super good. <laughs> really good. Awesome, awesome taste there. You forgot to dip it in that butter, though. You I think butter. it really doesn't need it. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Did you try these yet? This is what the halfway point looks like. That's <laughs> <laughs> not as a quarter now. <laughs> How many corns have you had? <laughs> I've ate three. Every time I look up, he's eating more corn. <laughs> corn is delicious. I I ate All the spices went into the corn. It's good. Yeah, yeah it's actually spicy. Got a little kick to it. Turn Adrian into That's a veterinarian. Clam chowder. That hot sauce is actually really good too. Yeah. This hot sauce might be yeah. the I'm it telling you right now. Like it's good with I this. Anything like that. I've had enough in this beef. Let's start over here. How was it? Uh, it was delicious. Very delicious. Yeah. yeah. John? Absolutely fantastic. Tapped out and room for no more. <laughs> you can't say no more than that. <laughs> well, look at the aftermath. There's, There's just a bag over there, nothing but shells. <laughs> <laughs> Did you eat good? Yeah, it was good. delicious. Look, we had to weigh the shells. Let's see what we weigh that in. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Take it back to Macy's. <laughs> <laughs> I have a receipt. I have a return for you. You forgot the meat. <laughs> We got a return them. They weren't that good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for cooking. Yeah, Thank you guys for coming. Uh, awesome, sure. awesome meal. I mean, if you guys want to try it for yourself, highly recommend this one. If you guys catch crawdads or buy them, anything. Awesome meal or not. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you outdoors. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs>